Welcome to the Ace Q&A for February. I'm Thomas Blair, lead designer. And I am Mark Hallis, senior designer. And we're going to take your questions today and give you some good answers. Okay, question. Crafting. Is it intended that we only have eight pips when crafting? That's, that's one you need to answer, Blair, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Is it intended? Right now, you arbitrarily have eight pips on, on any craft. And we did that just so you had something to something to experiment with. You will have more in the future. In fact, you're going to start with zero pips. And you're going to work your way up. And I think it's being roughly tuned for 12 to 14 now when you have everything. The group leadership buff kick in and uh, all of the skills maxed. You will have more. It's an arbitrary number. It's not intended that you fill all of those pips. And why is that, Mark? Uh, so you have something to do with each and every uh, line of experimentation? Yeah, it's cool. choice. We don't want everybody making the exact same item. There's some choice in there. We generally try to put a multiple lines in there. Right. So Ideally, there's more to experiment on than you have pips to spend. Yep, it's, otherwise that's it wouldn't that's be choice. Right. right. Okay, next question. NPC loot. What if humanoid mobs dropped equipable gear that was a tier below that of crafted? How do we feel about that? Well, I mean, generally, we like the idea of players making the gear for yeah. the most part, right? I mean, if uh, if we have NPCs dropping the gear, even, even it if it starts the race. Right, it does start the race, right? I mean, it will start the race A and B. I mean, who's going to use that gear if you can craft, like, if the, if the easiest to craft gear is actually better than that, right? So, I mean... Yeah, so the race that we're talking about is every game ends up with this invariably, which is, which is better? Is the crafted gear any good or not? And the reason is because that game put in a race of NPC stuff versus crafted stuff. And if you don't have that, then you don't have the race problem, right? right. So we always want to have the NPCs drop something that's useful in crafting, in the future, if it's limited edition blueprints, special looks, additives, we've always planned for that. It's just not all in there yet. Right. right? We started doing it with uh, necromancy. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you should be getting like the uh, the eyes and the, the yeah. femurs and whatnot. The hands maybe even too. But you can get additive parts for better vessels from farming the NPCs. Eventually, we're going to add in other stuff for weapons and armor. It's just we're not quite there yet. Okay. Okay, next question. Skill redesign for harvesting means tree redesign. And this is a very long-winded way of asking, are you going to redesign the harvesting trees to match the new method of one tool that has just a harvesting stat on it? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> uh, I, I went in there and I tweaked the stats. Now what you can do is you can specialize in gold. You can mine gold right off the bat. But if you choose to take all of the gold skills, you can progress and be the best gold guy or the best silver guy or the best whatever. You mean I could master gold? You could, I could be, be a gold master. <laughs> that's a that's a joke for people who work in the biz. <laughs> all right. And this is why we bring Mark that's on. That's right. I'm a, I'm yes. a laugh a minute here. He's a laugh a minute. Anyways, yeah, we're not going to do a full tree redesign. I don't I don't think we need to. It actually makes more sense now in my mind now that they're all kind of flat and you pick the one that you want to be right. the best in. And then over time, you're just going to acquire more types. So, no. So, next question. Why doesn't the armor system make use of the alloy system like weapons? Uh, so, basically, weapons use pretty much the same sort of model as as the uh, the, the armor system. They, they use sheets and rings for uh, for for their instead of instead of metal bars, basically. So their combinations are similar, and um, so they 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 kind of do right. I mean, it's it's they're different different subcomponents, but they use the same yeah you know, the same ore materials and and whatnot, and produce the same. You, know, you can get the same sort of stats as you can for, for yeah. I, I think this this so. person was probably confused because they're used to crafting systems where the metal bar is the base refined unit of ore. Right. And in our case, if you're going to make metal armor, you use metal sheets and metal rings. Mm -hmm. And they have almost identical combinations, right. like you said, right? So I think they just didn't know about those two pieces. And they're like, metal bar makes everything, which right. in our case, metal bars are only used in weapons for now. Okay. Next question. Why not do a quick and dirty balance pass now to fix a couple more egregious... egregious Combat issues. Well, uh, we actually do 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 a lot of balancing um, 
As I think week, on a weekly basis. On a weekly basis. I mean, so let, let's pretty talk, much every day, right? I let's mean, just talk about Monday. Sure, Mondays. Okay. Mondays are good. Today is a Monday. Today a is a Monday since we're filming this. We come in, and the first thing we start doing on Monday is fixing the stuff we saw over the weekend. Yep, is right. all of the stuff that you guys are reporting on the forums. We start coming those threads, and generally there's about six pages because I was on page three right now. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff is super quick and easy, like, oh, here's a data bug, right. right? And then other ones, I'll just be uh, onto Slack. I'll be like, hey, Mark, somebody reported that shot three of Ranger basic attack isn't working. Right. And then he'll go in and he'll just really quickly look and see if there's something really obvious why it didn't work. A lot of times somebody played an archetype that had a bug and they didn't put it on the forums. So we completely missed it. Uh, also, the volume of uh, of reports around a certain issue also gets us to go in there, right? right. So items disappear. This week, it's the item disappearing, right? Mm -hmm. Item disappearing and the server spikes are, are at the top of the list. And we've got guys working on it right away. The only reason we knew about it was because you guys reported it. So everything that you find wrong over the weekend, please just take a couple minutes to go to the forums. Yeah, just let us know. And let us know. And we, we, I guarantee you, multiple people look through those threads every Monday. We fix what we can. If we can't fix it, it goes on the list. If it's a balanced thing, sometimes it's just like we'll put that off for for a bigger yeah. for a yeah. bigger one. Or generally, we do balance by a, a formula. So. If somebody got hit and they're thinking something is too OP, it might be. But generally, all the numbers that are in there are because they come from our formulas. Right. So there you have it. Report your stuff for the weekends. Again, we will look at them. This one's a big one. <laughs> Skill tooltips are awesome. And what do those words mean now? And it's generally, it's great to know that a skill gives us two strength, for instance. When and how will you give us information about what two strength means along with other stats? So there's there's a couple layers here. Right. A we just got tooltips on the uh, on the skills that show what a box actually gives you, which is awesome because in the past we were manually doing that. You didn't know how much if it yeah. was, you know it was just now you do. So things get better as time goes by. Right. You would be surprised how long it takes to write words as opposed to just changing a value. Yeah, <laughs> it is a lot longer. <laughs> Anyways, so what does two strength mean? Well, how do our how do our stats and attributes work? Right, so uh, basically you have attributes, and an attribute is going to filter down into one or many, many, many stats. Um, right now, uh, we actually don't have any way to show you. We're not showing you tooltips for your attributes, um, uh, but the we skills will. or the stats page is not done yet. Right, the stats page is not is not complete. Um, so you will, at some point in the future, uh, be able to, to look and see exactly what strength does for your archetype or intelligence or whatever. But uh, I guess yeah, I guess the high level answer to that is strength. You know, for example, any any given att attribute will filter down and affect many, many, many stats underneath it. Um, so strength is always more valuable than, let's say, critical hit chance. Uh, yes, it is, because strength may very well contribute to critical hit chance. See, there you go. I always want to take the top level attribute, if at all possible. Okay. All right. Next question. Are the current combat numbers final? A few of my gaming buddies and I are curious of the current numbers for hit points damage and healing are similar to what Ace is aiming for in launch, or are they so high for the sake of testing? What's your take on this? I've uh, answered this one before on the forums. Yeah, so I mean, if if the question is, is are the balance numbers final? No, I mean, we're going to continue to balance the game even on and on forever and ever and ever. As long as um, it's up. I, I think it's more pointing to the 50,000 health yeah, value. Is, are, are the scales final? I mean... That, that's a good question, right? I mean, scales are completely arbitrary. We could we could lop off a zero or add two more. Really, I mean, it's 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 not going right. to really make as much difference to us. It's really more how do you guys feel? Like if you think fifty thousand is too high, let us know. Because I mean, if if fifty thousand is you know if you will, would feel better with ten thousand health or five thousand health or whatever, you know. Yeah, I think the balance point early on that we were aiming for was to make a a crit a four digit thing. Mm -hmm. That way, it, it would feel really good when you when you got a critical hit. And you can't do that if, I mean, for some people that feels good. And for other people, they might be happy with a three-digit crit if everything was doing 10s and 15s. Again, mm -hmm. this is something that we're going to tune all the way through to the end. But at some point, we are going to settle on a knob on this one. Okay, here's a good one. Will there be stat customization with the vessels? Well, since you just did all the necromancy 
stat stuff. Why don't you talk about it? Well, yes. Yeah. So uh, when you're when you're crafting a vessel, one of the one of the important decisions you need to make is is um, the creation of the alchemist stone, right? And the the alchemist stone is probably the the easiest way to customize your your vessel, and you can use that to add pretty much any any one of the attributes. Um, and any combinations that, that you like and, and uh, more or less add that directly to your vessel. And that's on top of being able to, you know, obviously experiment to, to adjust the stats as well as adding, uh, adding attributes. So there's actually, there's a lot of, lot of customization you can, you can do with vessels. So if I want to make a strength <clears throat> Templar, that's possible. Mm -hmm, absolutely. If, if I want to make a dex Templar. Yep. You, yeah, you could just load up, put, get a alchemy stone that's, or a alchemy stone that's all, all dex and you'll have lots and lots of dex. So I'm hoping once people start crafting them, there's been a bug where the minerals weren't dropping mm -hmm. in our playtest, and I finally nailed that over the weekend. So next playtest, you should have all kinds of minerals and should fully be able to craft from end to end on those things. So tell us your results. Final question. When will we see different ranks of parcels? You mentioned turning a knob that determines parcel rank and thus quality of harvesting drops in a given parcel. How is this process coming along on this knob? When might we expect to see it? When might they expect to see it? Soon. So yeah, this, this one's in the, in the hopper. We're just basically going to put a knob on the parcels, and we're going to crank them up to 1 to 4 for some play tests, 4 to 6, 6 to 10. That way, the way we've set up all the content is the quality of the, of the resources coming out is automatically going to go up. So we can simulate God's Reach, which is what you guys have been playing for many months now, or we can simulate the Dregs, which you have not been playing. We've been playing Dregs yeah, rules, sort of yes, Dregs rules without the Dregs bonuses, with, without the Dregs bonuses. But again, this is laying up all the groundwork for this entire system, and I'm hoping it's in real soon because I know you guys want to get purple and greens and, and orange resources out of the resource nodes rather than chests. Yes. Right, chests right now are kind of filling the gap to get you some high-end stuff. It's the secret sauce. No. <laughs> the amount of stuff people can pull out of those chests pretty quick is amazing. It is amazing. I, I looked amazing. at someone's spirit bank two hours after the wipe, <laughs> and it was already full of stuff. I'm like, didn't we wipe? And he's like, yeah, I got that in two hours. So we're going to tone that back once we get the variable rank in on the parcels soon. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thanks for coming out for February, and we will see you next month. Bye-bye, everybody.